Going back to casting um, from further away, you know, not being in LA. So, what are some things you can advise others on doing that? I mean, in terms of like communication with their casting director, things like that, that have worked for you? Well, I think the big mistake is that people don't think they need a casting director. I've met so many independent filmmakers who just cast the movie themselves. They go, they have this mentality that I'm going to cast, I know enough actors, there's enough, all I have to do is put out a casting call and I'm going to get responses, which is true. But, I mean, you need a casting director. I mean, I can't, I mean, I know so many people who don't want to work with one. And for me, I've met so many people I would have never met had I not had a casting director. They're taken more seriously than the director because you're having someone fight for you. You're having another voice on the other end of that computer or telephone line saying, you, this script is great. You need to come in and read for this. You need to meet this director. And that is a voice that, as a filmmaker, you know, that's another voice you need. And I've been able to, I think I've, I've had access in my career to uh, people that I normally wouldn't have because I have, I work with a casting director who does believe in me so much. And it's through loyalty. It's because I've been working with her for so long. We know each other well. We're sympathetic to each other's needs. And we're patient with one another. And I think that's why I've been able to get these get these types of people and these great actors in low budget movies um, you know when I'm finished with the script she's the first person I send it to or one of like one of four or five and that's how that happens that's how I can be in the in Alton and cast in LA or be in LA or back and forth or stuff like that so when you do finally have the casting session what are you doing what's what's the first item of business? I mean, how are you setting things up? What do you have available? What can you advise to other people? Uh, well, if, you're, if you work with a casting director who's wise enough to have pre-reads, she'll have pre-reads with, with you not there. You know, you can be there, you don't have to be there. Well, she'll just see a bunch of people, you know. If you're casting for someone like in, this, in my movie I'm doing now, I need bilingual, bilingual people, Spanish and English. Well, she's going to see a bunch of people who are bilingual anyway, who may or may not have a track record. So she'll see 30 people, then I'll watch, I'll watch all this, she'll tape it, and I'll watch all the tapes. And then I'll pick the 10 that I want to see as callbacks. And then I'll be there for that session. So I'll see those 10, pick two or three that I like. That's still, the, just because someone comes in and reads for you doesn't mean they want the part. I mean, they're just reading. And once you offer it, they could be like, oh, it's not enough money, or this, or that, or they're busy, or, you know, just because a big, a great actor is reading for you doesn't mean at the end of the day they're going to be in your movie. Um, um, and you know, and people who have a body of work, who don't audition, you know, that's a meet, basically a meeting. They they read the script, they think they could bring something to the table. You like their body of work. You sit down in a room, you have coffee, and you talk about the story. That doesn't mean they're going to do your movie. They could walk out of there saying, "Eh, I don't really like that guy," or you could. I could walk out of there saying, "Well, not really right for this." You know, um, so it's a process, and you have to be willing to go through it. And um, I hear a lot of people say, "Oh, I'm going to cast my friend," or, and I know, or being in their own movie. I have friends and you know people I know who want to be in their own movie, and you know, I just, there's a lot of great actors out there. And if you're patient, you don't need to be in your own film. 